Hey buddies, welcome to Mass Games, my name is Simon, today I'm going to show you how to set up, play and review the game Palace, that's as it's named on Board Game Arena, but it's also named as Shirt Head or Poop Head, however you want to put that word in as you like. It's a very popular backpacking game, I've played in lots of different countries, lots of different variants, but on Board Game Arena you can see how I'm going to set up for you today. So the aim of the game is to get rid of all of your cards, so you're trying to get rid of all your cards in your hands and you're going to try and put them in the table. And uh, basically, a uh, two goes on top of anything, a 10 burns, a nine means you have to go lower. That's a, a fairly standard variant. I've played various other ones with eights being a glass card and something like that. Uh, but this is going to be the two to four player thing that's basically on Board Game Arena. And like I said, you just a standard 52 deck of cards. And again, you're trying to get rid of all of your cards before um, the last player. The last player basically is the loser and everyone else wins. It's a very quick, fun game and basically uh, lots of element of luck and some skill, but not too much skill. Um, but again, it's a very popular drinking game as well. And I will show you how you set up for like four players. So you typically will be using three cards face down, uh, three cards face up, and you can choose to use six cards each in a two player game, four cards each in a three player game. It's up to you. I tend to always just play this one if I ever play this game. There's another game I prefer to play called Show Tai Chi, which I might do in another video. Please check out the playlist for Board Game Arena and also traditional card games where you'll find these uh, particular games. Also, how to set up, play and review. Also, hit the like button, share. Please hit the subscribe button and that notification bell for all future videos. Lots of actual board games coming, such as Undo, amongst many others. And finally, um, check out the comments and description for anything else I might have stated. Okay, so this is again the short game variant playing with these particular cards. And basically you're randomly going to put someone to start the game and you're going to have a stack of cards going over here. And whilst there's a draw deck, you're always going to be refilling your hands to three cards. Everyone is going to take three cards each. And uh, then what you're going to be doing is going around basically playing a card. You can play multiple cards, but let's just talk about one and obviously we'll see what's underneath here as well. Okay, so again, you're only drawing cards from this draw deck whilst there are cards there. And uh, whilst these face-up cards are here, you still have to be placing them. And only the point whereby only these other ones are played, uh, basically are left, you are able to legally play them out. And that's where the bigger part of the luck comes into it. Okay, so uh, let's talk about what you can be doing and looking at your cards. So you're now going to be playing a card and um, you're looking to play at least a single card. Um, and the numbers go from a rank two up to ace. So right now I could place a four, hoping someone else plays a, say a four, and then I can play a five or maybe a six on top. So let's say I place down a four. Um, what someone else can do is actually have a look. And in this case, they can play, yeah, they can play a five. Again, you'll be drawing up, but I'm just gonna skip that for now. Uh, they happen to have uh, an eight, let's say. Uh, that 10 is of interest, but I'll tell you why in a moment. And they happen to have uh, a 10, here we go. So, well, yeah, let's just say they play the 10. 10 can burn the deck in this particular example. Okay, so let's talk about these various cards. So again, um, a two card may be played on top of any card. Again, over here, we don't seem to have any. A nine, that immediately means the next player must play a lower ranking card. I hope I didn't goof on that one there. And then a 10, I said, burns the stack of cards. So normally if you cannot go, if someone plays an ace and then I've got like a, a five or a six left, I then have to pick up the remaining stack and it's going to go into my hand, which of course isn't fun because it's later on before I have a chance of potentially winning the game. So what about uh, four cards of the same value? Well, if you happen to play something like that, let's say you play uh, player C plays um, four sixes, you basically are going to pern again that deck that you're deliberately building up. So then what happens, you've got these cards left. Well, now I'm gonna set, someone's played a six and I play a seven. They see what I have, they play an ace. And of course, I've then got to pick up this stack. I hope they don't, so I can play myself the jack. They place a queen, hopefully, because they're not very good maybe. And then I play a king. And now this is the luck part. So now I need to play out this card. Uh, nine is good, they've got to go lower. Let's say they play a two, two can go on anything. Then, I don't know, I play an ace, they play another ace, and it's unlikely, oh, I can go out on a two, amazing. Okay, well, that's quite cool, actually. Well, obviously, we'll shuffle it around. So what I think of the game, obviously, this is a swift review. I think this is a kind of a, a four out of 10. I mean, it's a very swift, easy to play game, but it is fun seeing, obviously, what your last three cards are. But again, it comes down to luck. You have to have a very amount of skill, a bit, initially, to try and hope to get in that position. There are other games which you may check out on the channel, such as 99, which uh, 
add a little bit more fun to it, um, which is even swifter as well. So what do you think? Let me know, uh, by all means, please do. And check out, out, of course, on Board Game Arena. Thanks very much for watching. All the best. Bye for now.